Luca, it looks like everyone's heading to uh, to the photo. I'll let you go. Thanks for talking to us, and good luck in your first race. Good, good luck. Thank you very much, too. Thank you. Yeah, thanks very much to Simon. Thanks to Luca Marini. There he is then next to his brother Valentino Rossi, Pecco Bagnaia and Franco Morbidelli there as well then. The full VR46 crew. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Those four guys there spend so much time together. Disappointing qualifying session, but here we go, folks. This is the moment we've been waiting for. 126 days since we went racing in Portugal. And it all comes to this as the 22 riders head down towards turn one to begin this warming lap, warm up lap. Yeah, guys, uh, one thing I'm thinking about yes, the wind has dropped. I would say it's a half or even a third of, as for example, the turn two. So the, basically, it's the first left hander. One, the other time will make it even harder. So they've got to be careful in those first lefts. Thank you very much. Great observation. You need that scenario right now because <laughs> the, the catties are running away with it early on. Yeah. Out of the window straight away there from Maverick Vinales, who we're on board with. They're ahead of Rossi. Then it's the Suzuki's that have got past Alicia Spice. We're on board then now with Maverick Vinales, looking ahead at his teammate Fabio Quattararo. Vinales lining up the move. No thought having a look at the inside of Fabio Quattararo. He's going to have to try and get the job done on the start finish straight. Rins at the moment. The race straight into low 55s for the Italian. 155, 3, 2, 1. Still that advantage he had like on lap one of yeah. fastest lap, but he's got to be careful. He did say yesterday he can't go too fast at the front of this race. Having an absolute nightmare. Shocker on the opening night for Franco Morbidelli. Something happened to him on that first lap as well, second. Yeah, that was a good move, that from Fabio Quattararo. The door was just left slightly open from the rookie Martin, and through he goes. Yeah, there was something in the championship last year. He's down in 19th place. There is Valentino Rossi just ahead of the two Suzuki. Experience building for Martin. Valentino Rossi there now being handed by Alex Rins. He was yeah, wide yeah. there, Rossi, and that was easy. And very hard for that pass, did he? Former teammates on screen, Paulo Spargaro, Repsol Honda rider just ahead at the moment of Brad Binder. Looking very, very well too, but he struggled a little bit to maintain that pace. He did say yesterday he was a little bit concerned about the first few laps of the full champion. Juan Mir up the inside of Valentino Rossi. So Mir now up into eighth place. Now remember folks, this is the only man in the 54s now, the 54, 9 to 8. It's the gap between him and... Jack Miller, best race lap record set by uh, Jorge Lorenzo back in 2016. So, the gap to Suzuki's behind him, and now he's got Alessia Spargo and Miguel Oliveira for company as well. So, Valentino Rossi start got the pace to go with Quattararo and Vinales, that's for sure. There is Jack Miller, third. And then that's when he started to hit some pretty significant rear grip problems. So, that will be at the back of the Catty's minds. And of course, no, he doesn't. He gets the door slam shut right in his face at turn 15. Yeah, great defensive work there from the rookie, Jorge Martin. They are. And what's happening is, while they're trying to get through on the rookie, the likes of Bagnaia, Zarco, Miller, Quattro and Vinales are just pulling away here from Maverick Vinales. The two factory Yamaha men are starting to really hunt down Miller and Zarco. Well, they said they needed to work together. Fabio Quattro, when Quattro has got the speed that's got him already onto the back of Miller and Zarco. I do just wonder at the moment whether Miller, the race come to me as Rins. He he had to make that move. He had to make it stick at turn six. Number 42 goes through into sixth place. Says mapping to the signal on his dashboard. Are they already going into tyre saving mode here, Suzuki? I'll go further back. There's Alicia Spargaro. Not the perfect start for the Spanish rider on board the Aprilia. He's 10th. Further back. Still, Franco Morbidelli is down in 20th well, and lapping slow. I don't know what he's got, but he's got a problem in on his last lap. Midfield needs to be running at the front of this race. There is Miguel Oliveira, 11th place. Had good pace in FP4 last night. He was in the top five, so race pace. He wasn't too far away oh. on that KTM RC 16. The Bagnaia on that last lap, and the gap at the front, as you can see, has come down. You see, Bagnaia is not entertained picking up his pace to get an FP4 too quickly. Well, then I might hit those rear grip problems that everybody fears that the Catty might encounter towards the end of the race. And Co to join in, and we may well have seven or eight riders in this. As it is at the moment, the early stages, it's all about the Catty. Try and escape and push too hard the start of the race. There's a risk you might oh, get Quattararo push. makes oh. a move. That was brave. Yeah, he's got that Yamaha. Matter of time before Quattararo finds a way through. Of course, Matt, they've got to do this in sectors one, yeah. two, and three because they're not going to get by on the straight. Here he comes. Here comes the move. He's that was it. beautifully yeah. done. He got 
got from that. Fabio Quattararo. He lined that all up through the right hand. Miller winds up the wick to six gear on that Ducati. Although Quattararo has got pretty good drive, hasn't he, coming off of turn 16. Excellent, excellent stuff from the Frenchman. Oh, that was a game of dare and chance on the brakes, wasn't it, in the first corner. Miller didn't even have Quattararo. He had to do that. Now, Maverick Vinales has just watched all of that unfold. Yep. I might be thinking, I'll have a stab at that now. Exactly, well, 2021. What happened to him? Seventh on the grid, 16th at the end of lap one. Then there was a mistake at a 58 lap for Bedelli. That is just not reflective of the speed he's got. Banyai is now being told up ahead. Oliveira threatened a strong race last night in FP4, and he's putting together a very strong race, as he so often does. He oh, yeah. we have. Takanakagami's gone down. What a shame for the Japanese rider. He wasn't quite... Right, from what he maybe clipped a bit of curb on the inside going in. I was just about to say Oliveira is down to the low 155s. On 63, Bagnaia, who leads this one, the Italian from French rider Zarco, who's closing and closing and closing. Champion uh, sitting at this moment in seventh place. The corner speed that Fabio Quattararo is generating on that Yamaha. Out of his skin here, Quattararo. Alex Rins in the background as well, desperate to try and get in touch with these guys. Picked off Valentino Rossi and got himself up in the 10th. So it's not been the uh, dream start of the 2021. <laughs> Paco Bagnaia it is that leads this one from Zarco and backwards. Maverick Vinales then makes it Yamaha's three and four. Is it? He's in the remaining. There is the Suzuki. Trying to chase down Banyaya, Alalaish again quicker at the moment than this, those in front of it. At him. the moment, this is only a contest between Vinales and Zarco. The only two men in. I'll tell you who is faster than Banyaya. This man, Anaya Bastianini, in 10th. A rookie. An unbelievable ride so far. His electric start. He obviously pushed really hard to keep in that lead group at the start. He's encountering some rear grip issues, as been Valentino Rossi way, way down in 14th place at the moment. In fact, he's only just found a way through on Jorge Martin. Started this race, Morbidelli is just lapping still in the mid 56 as he can't do anything. This is a replay, judged, shall we say, wide. That one might be looked at. Yeah, that was quite he lost a, a lot of ground there. That's where he yeah. lost his time, that's isn't when, it? That's when he 12th. went from 12th to here and trying to kickstart the defense of his title from the podium. Well, that will wake Alex Rins up a bit. What a ride from Juan Mir right tonight. There are no points up for grabs on Saturday nights in MotoGP. Maverick Vinales now nearly a here in Rins, but at the moment it's not good enough. No, I mean, I think Rins might have just burnt a lot of tyre up here, having come through the pack. Well, the slowest man in the top ten at the moment, Steve, is Jack Miller. They're not going to plan at all for Miller. We did, I did not expect this. Maverick would have been mired back in fifth or sixth place and would come through to win, and Zarco would be second with Banyaya third. Zarco at the moment... I was going to say relatively comfortable in second place. He's got about seven tenths back to make moralizing and soul destroying for Rins. He looked so down in the dumps on uh, Friday, Juan Mir, when he spoke to our colleague. Himself get down the doldrums Here for he too comes. long. He's going to attack. He's through. Oh, no, he's not. Not quite. Well, He'll have a good really amount of Miller is fading fast. Yes. What a humbling evening for Jack Miller. Oh, look at that. He's going to get different league. Zarco. Totally different league, Steve. 55-382 as Quattararo sweeps up the inside of Rins. That's uh, it's got nothing yeah. left. Miller is just like a sitting duck here, isn't he? Polis Bargero goes through into eight. Tardotti can't believe it. At the moment, absolutely nothing he can do. Can't even put up a fight. Here comes Mir, up the inside. Believable start for the factory Ducati team. They don't have a bike on the podium. Probably best not to show another shot of Davide Tardozzi right now because he's not a new top speed record and it's all gone horribly wrong when it really matters. They've still got Zarco in second. Well, this is what Mir did all last year. This is just your classic Juan Mir performance from 10th on the grid. And we've said... ...been pushed up against the wall like Mir was on Friday and Saturday. It's how you come out and respond, and his, his response has been pretty emphatic to Catty, but he's struggling with rear end grip yeah. here, Joanne Zarco. You've got to say, Zarco, though, has managed the rear tyre a lot better than and get himself into that comfort zone. He reeled off those brilliant laps in the mid to low 55s, got himself that comfortable to clear of Zarco. It's going to take a monumental mistake by Vinales now to throw this one away. Yes, it's true somehow because of the rides of his life yeah. at the front of this MotoGP race to kick off 2021. It was a dream debut on the factory Yamahas here in Qatar. Ducati were the red-hot bookies favourites going into the night's race. Albert 
full amount of fuel, you know what I mean, that it uses to use full power and finish the race. So, you know, I've lost it. And at the moment, they might lose seconds place here as well. Quattararo has been given a track limits warning. We've got a lap and a bit left. It's up into second place. What a, what a salvage job wow. that would be. What a rescue mission by me. Absolutely outstanding. I don't think... The last lap of the race here at the LaSalle International Circuit. Maverick team on the plate by Magnaia's mistake in Mazzano. This is a proper, genuine demolition job on the finish. To do it as well, it's really, yep. really fantastic. Friday night, bike was fantastic. Last night, he's been absolutely sensational tonight. Thoroughly deserved this victory. What's going to happen here, though, in the other spots for the podium? Yeah, he stopped himself, actually, potentially not even being on the podium at all. So, a bit of late drama. Ducati's proud, winning around to ninth place. Alex Rins can't get through on Fabio Quattararo as well. Rins is charged through as far as expected at all. Two tails from the start to now. That's comes Dran Mir on the last lap. He goes through the world champion. Top Gun. What a ride by Maverick Vinales. Oh, no. oh no, Mir's, Mir's lost been it. absolutely it. It looked like Mir had it absolutely nailed on. He got hammered by the Ducatis. Did he just lose a bit of grip and speed coming out of his Grand Prix career? Look at this though, late on. Late drama as always in Qatar. Not for the victory like Marquez and Davies. doing there, Steve. That was all because he was trying to make sure this didn't happen. And he knows now, he knows they're coming. That the, the, the Ducati, at least one, was going to slipstream him. And he was just desperate. So he did a 55-7. Bagnaia was down into the... That cost Jack quite a bit of time. And that's definitely helped to lay shouts. Yeah, it's hard. Well, if he can get, probably if he can half that gap, he's a chance of being able to level him by the end of the straight. But unfortunately, it's not bearing fruit in the race. Zarko's done really once that KTMs have been having a nightmare. This track doesn't suit their motorcycle they, at all. They hate it, don't they, here? Vinales has opened up on this lap again. 0.9 is the gap between himself. And it's proved to be a wise choice for them because he's upholding the Cassiano in this opening race. The following month... Miller. We did, I did not expect this. Maverick would have been mired back in fifth or sixth place and would come through to win, and Zarko would be second with Banyaya third. Zarko at the moment, I was going to say, relatively comfortable in second place. He's got about seven tenths back to make moralising and soul destroying for Rins. He looked so down in the dumps on uh, Friday, Juan Mir, when he spoke to our colleague. Himself get down the doldrums Here for he too comes. long. He's going to attack. He's through. Oh no, he's not. Not quite. Well, He'll have a good brilliant man, so Miller is fading fast. Yes. It's been quite a humbling evening for Jack Miller. Oh, look at that. He's going to get Pichu and Zarko. Totally different league, Steve. 55 382 as Quattararo sweeps up the inside of Rins. That's uh, it's got nothing yeah. left. Miller is just like a sitting duck here, isn't he? Polish Bargero goes through into look at eight. Tardotti can't believe it. At the moment, absolutely nothing he can do. Can't even put up a fight. Here comes Mir, up the inside. Believable start for the factory Ducati team. They don't have a bike on the podium. Probably best not to show another shot of Davide Tardozzi right now because he's not a new top speed record and it's all gone horribly wrong when it really matters. They've still got Zarco in second. Well, this is what Mir did all last year. This is just your classic Juan Mir performance from 10th on the grid. And we've said been pushed up against the wall like Mir was on Friday and Saturday. It's how you come out and respond, and his, his response has been pretty emphatic to Catty, but he's struggling with rear end grip yeah. here, Joanne Zarco. You've got to say, Zarco, though, has managed the rear tyre a lot better than getting himself into that comfort zone. He reeled off those brilliant laps in the mid to low 55s, got himself that comfortable to clear of Zarco. It's going to take a monumental mistake by Vinales now to throw this one away. Yes, it's true somehow because of the rides of his life yeah. at the front of this MotoGP race to kick off 2021. It was a dream debut on the factory Yamaha here in Qatar. Ducati were the red hot bookies favourites going into the night's race. Out of that full amount of fuel, you know what I mean, that it uses to use full power and finish the race. So, you know, I've lost it and at the moment they might lose seconds place here as well. Quattararo has been given a track limits warning. We've got a lap and a bit left. It's up into second place. What a, oh, what a salvage job wow. that would be. What a rescue mission by me. Absolutely outstanding. I don't think... The yeah. last lap of the race here at the LaSalle International Circuit. Maverick team on the plate by Magnaia's mistake in Mazzano. This is a proper, genuine demolition job on the finish. To do it as well, it's really, yeah. really fantastic. Friday night, bike was fantastic. 
last night. He's been absolutely sensational tonight. Thoroughly deserved this victory. What's going to happen here, though, in the other spots for the podium? Yeah, he stopped himself, actually, potentially not even being on the podium at all. So, a bit of late drama. Ducati's proud, winning around to ninth place. Alex Rins can't get through on Fabio Quattararo as well. Rins is charged through as far as he expected at all. Two tails from the start to now. That comes Dran Mir on the last lap. He goes through the world champion. Top Gun. What a ride by Maverick Vinales. Oh no, oh, no. Mir's, Mir's lost been it. absolutely Mir. it. It looked like Mir had it absolutely nailed on. He got hammered by the Ducatis. Did he just lose a bit of grip and speed coming out of his Grand Prix career? Look at this though late on. Late drama as always in Qatar. Not for the victory like Marquez and De Vries. He's doing there, Steve. That was all because he was trying to make sure this didn't happen. And he knows now, he knows they're coming. They're... The, 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 a Ducati, at least one, was going to slipstream him. And he was just desperate to try and nail that last corner. Got in a...